nice of you to drop in. Hello people, I'm the Reconquered Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about the must-have villains for Arkham Knight. Uh, not like the obvious ones that we know are going to be in there, or uh, some of the ones that have been in past Arkham games. Um, but yeah, like more newer villains, but I have one that has already been in, the, well I have two that have already been in the game, but I want them portrayed differently. Like, they were portrayed good in the past, but you'll see what I mean when I get to them now. Uh, starting off in no particular order. Let's uh, let's start off with Riddler. Now, well, what I mean by this is, I want Riddler to be a villain, not just some guy. Like he he was a threat in Arkham City because of the fact that he had hostages, but he he wasn't that much of a threat to Batman. I like to see him be a villain because Riddler is one of my fa is probably my second favorite Batman villain behind Joker, of course. Um, and I would love to see him as an actual villain and see him play out, and I think it'd be really cool. Because he was really, he was awesome in the past two Arkham games, especially Arkham City, since he actually did stuff. But he still, we haven't seen him as like a, as a villain role yet. Like, he, he was the biggest side mission uh, in Arkham City, I will say. But we haven't seen him as a villain yet. I'd love to see him like, be the competing force against uh, um, Scarecrow and, all, uh, and Arkham Knight and all the other villains, since they're like all teaming up and see Riddler, since Riddler already has, like, people inside of their camps, or whatever you want to call them, like, gangs, um, since Riddler already has people, as we saw in Arkham City, um, I just think it'd be really cool to see him try to, like, do an overtaking of them, and try to kill Batman for himself, and I just think it would be really cool, and I'd love to see Riddler as, a uh, as his really villainous self. The next one is Prometheus, because I really wanted him in Arkham Origins, because uh, I thought his boss fight would be amazing. He is, if you don't know about him, he's pretty much the opposite Batman. His parents were killed by cops, because they were uh, criminals, and so he goes around and he's a cop killer, and it would be a perfect side mission, uh, or I, I would love him in a main mission also, but I think it'd be, he'd work out his perfect side mission, you just hear about this cop killer, and then it's like, <gasps> Prometheus, you go, you know, investigate, however they want to do it, I'm not a game designer, uh, and I just think it'd be awesome, being able to fight Prometheus would be one of the coolest fights in the Arkham games to me, if they could do it well, of course if they could do well, but just, he has an easier setup to me than if you look at other villains like, hmm, how do we do a boss fight with them? To me, Prometheus would be would be an easier setup to think of uh, how to do that, and I just, I would love to see it. It'd be so cool, like, fighting Prometheus on the rooftops. I just think it would be awesome. I'd love to see him, and he's a great villain, and he's a, one of the more physical and posing threats on Batman to where, like, you have, like, the Jokers and Riddlers that are more, like, have to think out their plans and use gangs to get to Batman to where Prometheus is more of just one-on-one -on -one, try to beat the crap out of Batman one of the more physical imposing villains for Batman now next is Catwoman I know uh, she she had her own awesome story in Arkham City I loved it I'd love to see her as a villain because the dynamic between her and Batman is so good I just love to be able to like chase Catwoman on the rooftops, have her mess with Batman how she does, and it's just I love it. I'd love to see her come back as a more villain. It's still not, you know, she's not completely evil. You know, the flip floppity Selena Kyle. We got to see some of that in Arkham City, but she didn't like go after Batman or anything. Like I'd love to see her go back to like you know stealing, uh, and you know not just from criminals, but like steal something and Batman has to stop her because it's not right and her mess with him and just uh, it'd be so cool. I love to see it. I just really want to see uh, Batman and Catwoman go with it. I want to see Catwoman mess with Batman because she does it so well. I'd love to see it in uh, Arkham Knight. It'd be, I just love it. It would, it would be so cool. It just makes me think like, that like chasing her on the rooftops while she's trying to evade you, and then you know whenever Batman finally does catch her, you know how she like messes with him. It's just so cool, and I'd love to see it. Uh, Catwoman definitely. I'd love to see her as a villain. This one well, more villainous this time. She's still not like evil or anything. Next is James Gordon Jr., who was one of my picks to be the Arkham Knight. Who I think st I still think might be the Arkham Knight. But if he's not, I'd love to see him. He had my favorite Batman storyline. It wasn't Bruce Wayne. It was Batman at the time. But uh, Batman: The Black Mirrors. Uh, it was an amazing storyline. James Gordon Jr. 
he was the villain behind it all, and he was so awesome in that book. He was amazing. I love to see him in this. It would, it, it would just be so cool. Like, and it would be another thing to connect to Commissioner Gordon, and it would bring him more into the story, flesh him out more, since he hasn't really been a big part. He was of any of the Arkham games. He was, he was, he had a a bigger role in Arkham Origins, uh, uh, James Gordon, but well, Commissioner Gordon, but. Didn't have that big of a part, and this will bring it up even more, having his psycho son come into it, and all that stuff, and for, like, the people who don't know about him being evil, and, because, it, it depends the way they went at it, if they went at it from, he's completely evil, or if they went at it from, hmm, you don't know, you have another suspect, could be this person, who knows, but I just would love to see James Gordon Jr., because he is amazing when written right, he, he just is an amazing villain, and can really do some messed up stuff that I just love to see him in Arkham Knight just like all the other villains I've mentioned next is the Court of Owls because the Court of Owls would be so cool I would love like you're just on a mission and then you just see like a shadow of like a talent go behind you look around and it's like what was that it's like they're just constantly messing with you throughout the story like you think you see a talent you go and investigate you don't know it's not there then like you find out about some like big Gothamite person getting killed and yeah just the Court of Owls they're so cool and I love and the boss fight would be amazing especially if they like fleshed them out and um and had them like take you to their lair like they did in the in the comics it would be so cool it just it just would be the the Court of Owls would be so awesome uh, all the possibilities you could do with the these characters because you got their talents I don't know how they would have you beat the talents gameplay wise that'd be interesting of course uh, freezing them you can stop their healing factor like that so if who knows if you get something like that because I thought I heard there's not gonna be any freeze grenades in Arkham in Arkham Knight I think I heard that I don't remember but Court of Owls love to see them fighting a talent would just be one of the most awesome things in video games period so yeah, that's uh, that's all the villains I want to see in Arkham Knight. I think I just would love to see them. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, of course there are others, but I don't want to make this video too long, and I could just go on all day because Batman has 10 million villains. Uh, but yeah, those are the, the like main ones I'd really want. Like you know, you have others like David Kane and Man Bat that I'd like to see as well, but I'm not gonna cover those right now. So yeah. What villains do you guys really want to see that have not been in the Arkham games or that have been and you just want to see them revamped, like I said, with Riddler and Catwoman? So, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.